Well, it's uh, half past eleven. Yeah, it's a bit late, isn't it? Yeah, your family's all gone to bed. No sign of life, anyway. <laughs> but my family's no sign of life when they're awake. <laughs> oh, blimey, this lot's been in bed two hours, mate. How can you tell? Listen, listen. It takes them two hours to work up to that. Go on. They spend the first half hour turning up. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah, right, right. Good night, mate. Good night, mate. Things gone again. Nothing wrong with that. Your grandfather put that up with his own hands. Mum, you've been dead 50 years. <laughs> Give us a hand up. Give us a hand up. Hold it. I'm you sure what you're doing now. I'm a blow behind you. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. I've got my foot down the fan. Get up. Get up. Hand me down the lid. Just come out of its seat. That's all that's happening to it. There. Get one, bitch. Get one, bitch. I've got that. Get that. 
Hold it, hold the Got the lid. Got the lid. That's right. It goes in there, right. It's just come out of its seat in there. I'll see if I can get hold of the. What's Dan doing? I'm washing my hands, you silly. Kiss the torch. Right. Yeah, what can you see? Nothing. I've dropped the torch in it. You clumsy great idiot, I've just bought a new battery for that. Get it out. How can I get it out? I can't see it, you idiot. It's light's gone out. Well, put your hand in the water, fiddle about. Oh, oh. Blimey. Careful, Stan. Oh. Oh. I've got, I've got it, ready. I've got, got it. it. Got it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Look at that, it won't go on now. Oh, Stan. Well, I can't help that. Oh, Stan, you've dipped your rig spot in the water. Ah. I'm doing fat, not a good. Oh, shut your face. Get your spanner, get your spanner. Yeah, yeah. I'll see if I can tighten up the nut yes. on the ball. Oh, Stan! You've cracked the basin! The pan was already cracked. Oh? Arthur, see if you can fish that spanner out. You what? <laughs> you drop it and you fish it out. Well, you... Oh! <laughs> Thank you very much, Jack. Sorry to be such a trouble. That's all right. It's a pleasure. Anytime. See you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go over there now? Yeah, yeah, he's expected you. Oh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Getting soaking wet every time you want to go out the loo. You should have got up so late. Wasn't raining when I went. Yeah, well, I do not intend listening to the weather forecast every time I want to go. Well, it can be very embarrassing. I'm going to wait till I go down to the shops. Ah, it's nothing for it. We'll have to get a new one. It's going to cost a bit, you know. Mind you, we could use the old cistern and buy a new pan. Oh, no. If we're going to have a change, I want one of them low-level sweets. What on earth for? I don't want to pull it. I want to turn it. <laughs> You're a snob, that's what you are. Oh. And besides, they cost a bomb. Well, most people in the street have got them. Anyway, I've got a little bit of money saved up for me high-level grill for the kitchen. Now, make up your mind. What do you want, high-level grill or low-level loo? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, most people have both these days. Well, you'll have to be different, won't you? You'll have to have a high-level loo and a low-level grill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome home. That was most embarrassing. As I walked down the street like this, the milkman whistled at me. Most probably thought he was his horse. Don't <laughs> say <laughs> such things. Well, now listen, what are we going to do about the loo? We'll all have to chip in. Chip in? You must be joking, mate. You broke it. You pay for it. Listen, mate, if you don't pay your wet, I'm going to lock it up so you can't use it. <laughs> well, how childish you are. All right, then. You, me and Mum, we pay a third each. Oh, oh no, no, you won't. There's two of you, you and Olive. No. Me and Mum will pay half, you pay half. Mm. You'll be lucky. <laughs> All right, then. I'll lock it up so she can't use it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll pay half. I suppose I owe it to her. Oh, thank you, love. You can have it for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do, love. I'll put some candles on the seat and we'll all gather around while you blow them out. Oh, <laughs> boy. You mustn't say those things. Um, hey, listen, I just thought of something. What? There's a place on our route that have got all these toilets and baths. They've got them out on the pavement. You've seen them, haven't you? Yeah. Do you know what? I reckon I can get one cheap. Oh, we could go and have a look. Oh, I want to go. In that case, I shall be there. I want to see how you're spending my money. <laughs> Why don't we pack some grub and make a picnic of it? <laughs> That's plastic, isn't it? Look. 
Oh, no, I want a solid one. I don't want them plastic ones. They catch fire. <laughs> I've got you two chalk. Catch fire? Yeah. Well, if it catches fire, you just put the handle down, it puts it out, doesn't it? <laughs> how do you can that catch fire? Well, you know how careless Olive is with her cigarettes. She burned a big hole in the blanket the other day. That was in bed. I wouldn't fall asleep in there. You'd fall asleep anyway. <laughs> anyway, if it is plastic, it don't catch fire. It just melts. Well, that could be very embarrassing, can't it? <laughs> I mean, one minute you're sitting there, the next you're floating away on a sea of red-hot molten plaster. <laughs> No, I want a solid... Ooh, I like that one. Now, that's lovely. That is, that's old Daniil. Oh, no, it's not. It's green. Eh? <laughs> anyway, it says he's a frustrated export. Export? <laughs> oh, Stan. What? If it's made for abroad, perhaps it won't work in England. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, like the cars. They're not the same. Well, if it pleases you, I'll put a notice on the back. Left-hand drive, no hand signals. <laughs> It might be one of them metrical ones. You know, all different sizes. We're all different sizes, aren't we? <laughs> Will you take Olive? She's got a great big fat... Dad, <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's like... It's like continental shoes. I mean, they're all different. They're too narrow for me. Well, I'll get you a shoe on in case you get stuck. <laughs> God's sake, what's... Oh, are we going to have this one or not? Yes, yes, yes for goodness sake. Yes, let's have that. Here, Governor. Here, yeah, mate. Yeah, we'll have this greening. Well, they're Jay Pound 15. Now, would you like a nice seat to go with it? Oh, doesn't it come with a lid seat? No, no they're an optional extra. Oh. Yeah, what or plastic? Take your choice, sir. Oh, would it's much nicer. <laughs> what do you mean, nicer? Oh, well, you would. Look, that's nice and warm, isn't it? I mean, your plastic's all cold. You can get a rash from plastic. Lama, well, you don't have to talk a load of rubbish. Well, it's like these nylon shirts. They don't breathe. You have them on a couple of hours and you're all clammy. We're not sitting on there for a couple of hours, are we? <laughs> it has happened, mate. I would, wouldn't like a wooden one. I had a very unfortunate experience with a wooden one in Lowestoft. Oh. Do you remember, yes, Arthur? Yes, yes, yes. I got a splinter from it. Yes, Do you remember? Yes. <laughs> now, look here. Let's make this... Now, if you really want a posh one... How about that black one up there? It's got a lid on it. Oh, yes. Now, that's lovely. Oh, yes. That's more discreet. I mean, look, lovely. this is like having your own front door, isn't it? <laughs> Put a knocker on it for you, shall we? Well, have you made up your minds? Yeah, we're going to have this green in, and we'll have this black one with the lid yes, here. Right, yeah, it, it won't assist in, but uh, nothing, dear. You know, a bit cheap. Right, you've got to all the things that go with it, the pipes and all that. Yeah, you'll find them all in there. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Yes. Hold it up. How much is that then? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll let you have a lot for 15 quid. Oh, oh right. No, and can it. you send it round straight away, please? No, dear, we don't deliver. Not at these prices. Are. Hey? Hey? <laughs> yeah, we're going to get this home then. <laughs> well, I suppose I could do it for you myself, private. That costs you an extra 30 bub. But not for at least a week, you see. A week? <laughs> not for a week? Not week. Well, well, we can't wait that long. No. Here, copy 15, nigger. Copy the yes, 15, nigger. I'll take right. the lid. Uh, yeah. No, one minute, wait a minute. How are we going to get this home? Well, I'm not forking out for a taxi, I'll tell no, you that. Wait a oh, wait a minute, hang on. What's the time? Here you are. Old Jack, his bus is due in a couple of minutes. He'll let us get on hey, with a lot. Take, wait, right. take the seat. I'll get the seat. I'll get the seat. I'll take that. Here, hold on, Ollie. Hold on, Ollie. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, I'll text you. Tell her, mate. Come on. Well, I hope you're satisfied now, then. Yeah, but no. Oh, I'm coming tonight. Come on, Arthur. <laughs> oh, look, Mum, there's a couple of seats down there. <laughs> I'm all right, love. I've got me out. Hi, <laughs> Jeff, mate. You're not bringing that on this bus, eh? Right? Why not? This is a public conveyance, not a public convenience. <laughs> I'm not having that on. Listen, mate, this is part of our shopping. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. You're a right liberty taker, aren't you? I'll get a right rollicking from the inspector if I turn up at the depot with that on board. Look, all we want to do is you drop it off at the bottom of our road. No, no. Why the hell didn't he have it sent? Because he said he'd take seven days to deliver it. Well, that's your hard luck then, isn't it? <laughs> all right, all right. Grab hold of that, Stan. Grab hold of it. If he doesn't mind us popping around his place. Oh, well, yeah, what, yeah, for yeah. seven days? God, blimey, I've had quite enough of that, thank you. Four of you queuing up and me lying fifth. All right, come on in, bring it on. <laughs> Stick it down there and I'll keep an eye on it. You'll have to go upstairs, but fall down here. It's all right, Edgar. Over the tight now, please.
Blimey, Hitler. <laughs> what are you giving a wash and brush up now, then? <laughs> you are the attendant, I suppose, are you? <laughs> what, what, what is this, this object here? Well, haven't you got one in your house? <laughs> How did it get on the bus? Oh, well, somebody must have slipped it on when I wasn't looking. Eh? Yeah. Or it slipped out of somebody's pocket, I suppose. Oh, uh, oh hello, Blakey. Oh, yeah, this is mine. Butler? Yeah. <laughs> I might have guessed I'd find you behind that. What do you mean by bringing that object on the bus, eh? Well, what's your objection? Objection? You do know what it is, I suppose, don't you? Yeah, it's a large egg cup. <laughs> egg cup. Oh, I'd like to see the bird that could fill an egg with that. <laughs> so would I, but I'd hate to be around when it was flying. <laughs> Get it off, come on. Anyway, listen, Jack let me on with it anyway. Well, he had no right to. Don't hang about. I know my rights. Rule 62, a conductor is allowed to use his discretion to let things on the bus. Yes, and an inspector can use his discretion to order them off. Get it off, come on. You had no right to put it on there. It's unhealthy. Look, mate, you're a bus inspector, not a sanitary inspector. <laughs> Blimey, the way you're talking, anybody would think it was connected up. You heard what I said. Get it off there. You had no right to put it on there at all. It's, it's obstructing the platform. Ah, ah. Rule 81. Nothing will be carried which obstructs the platform. What's the older? Oh, it's him, Blakey. What's the matter now? This bus is not moving off until that closet's taken off. Oh, come, come, go. We'll find some other way. Oh, go on. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a rotten day and all. <laughs> Yeah, can we go now? No, hang about. I'm going to have a word with your driver. He's running late. He's gone. Hey. I said he's gone. So? Well, let's stick it in the back of the bus. Hey. Stick it in the back of the bus. <laughs> Sure, you made the connections all right? Be daft. Now, if you don't fancy it, mate, go elsewhere. That's all. Listen, Mum, I've put this one in, and it's one of them nice, quiet ones. You can't hardly hear a sound. Oh, you come and listen. Yes, come and listen. Go on. All right. Oh, why don't you keep quiet just when Stan's going to demonstrate? It's not a symphony concert. We're not the Albert Hall. <laughs> well, keep quiet while he does it. Who do you think you are, you Udi Menuhin? <laughs> Will you be quiet? Shh! <laughs> <laughs> is that it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was me shushing him. Oh, I've done it, yeah, I'm going to do it now. Now oh, listen, right. here we go. <laughs> is it finished? Finished that, was it? Oh, and it lovely. Yeah. Oh, and doesn't the seat look nice? I'm glad we got that solid one. Yeah. Ooh, I've got a lovely little doily crochet. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, very nice. Just finish it off there now. Yeah. Why don't you put the vase of flowers on it? And that picture of Dad in the silver frame, you know. Oh, Stan, how well, could you? Say, well, well, it's a bit stupid, isn't it? I mean, the doily's going to fall off every time you lift it. <laughs> You're a great twit, you can't lift a seat up. Oh, that could be very awkward, Stan. Well, you're going to need to be an acrobat, aren't you? I ain't got it wrong, it's, it's a bit stiff, that's all. It's, maybe I'll go... 
Take it off. That's if we're ever going to use it. Either that or put the door in the flowers on, we'll all go round the jacks. Oh, <laughs> stop being funny. There's no need to take it off. Look, I've left the space here so the assistant can go back far. That's all it is. I'll give it a push and that's it. Oh. Here we go right, then. Right, right, right boom. Oh, 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 hey. oh, 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 Natural mouse. Oh, oh no, it won't. It'll fall out. <laughs> if it does, does love, you can have a scar like he's got. Yeah, yeah. Now go and turn it on. All right. Oh, right. Oh, it's all done now, love. Now, Mum, it's all done, and I must say, ready for use. Oh, ain't it lovely? I've waited 25 years for this. Have you really? Yes. Well, in that case, you better go first. Don't. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, yeah. Well, well, if it's all working now, if you two don't mind, I was here first. Oh, right. right love, do you mind if I pick up my tools? Yes, I'll pick up You're right, lovely boy. There we are. Right. Yeah. Just uh, be my guest. Thank you. Lovely. Right. Yes. Uh, Excuse me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you scoop me for you can't shut the door. That's you and your low-level loo. It makes the pan stick out so far I can't shut the door. Well, can't you shove it in a bit more? Not unless you want the other half in the street. Look, it's no good. You'll never get a new one like the old one up there. Well, what are we going to do with this one? We've only just bought it. Advertise it, that's what I'll do. I'll stick an advert in the paper. One owner, never been used, brand new. <laughs> well, I'll think of something. Oh. Yeah, well, meanwhile, we've got to make some arrangements for tomorrow morning, haven't we? <laughs> 